forgot to plug it in. <laughs> Big honour to be still doing the job after 31 years, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, no, I'm not happy about it, don't clap. <laughs> 31 years at exactly the same level as before. <laughs> so I'd like to start with a new joke I've been crafting for 31 years. Have you seen that new movie, Police Academy? <laughs> Comedy and music, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you get from me. Two for the price of one. So if you don't like the jokes, you can just twerk. I'll tell you how good a musician I am so you know you're in capable hands. I used to be a member of the New York Philharmonic Orchestra mailing list. <laughs> there you go. Um. See that left hand technique? Alcoholism. <laughs> you can probably tell at this point I don't actually play the instrument. Um, well, you're not wrong there. The, the only reason I have it, I've got all the jokes <laughs> on the side. Because you need a system, don't you, when you start forgetting, and I can recommend this system to anyone here. Say, for example, you have a job and they want you to make a presentation at work. My advice, just get yourself one of these. And put all your bullet points on the side. And you never need PowerPoint presentation ever again. Just make sure, be sure to wear a tuxedo so they won't suspect what you're doing. I'll let you into a secret now. I'm not actually from Texas. I'm from a little village called London, and I'm here to make America great Britain again. <laughs> 14 years ago, I moved to Hollywood, California in order to realize my dreams of being an Uber driver. You recognize me now? <laughs> there are plenty of differences between the US and the UK. There's so many. Uh, you've got cheerful people, uh, teeth. You've got... Uh, everything's a lot bigger. Everything's huge. This, American violin. You've got different restaurants. You've got Denny's, Wendy's, the IHOP, Chipotle. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? I've been learning Spanish. That's the first word I learned. Second word I learned in Spanish? Cholo. <laughs> That's my cholo right there. Which is also Spanish for gang member, in case you didn't know. I know because I was driving through East San Bernardino, lost. I'd done a gig down there, and I was just completely lost. I got out of the car, and I had this in one hand. There's a group of people uh, over there. It's very dark, like this. I said, uh, hey, excuse me, can you tell me the name of this street? And one of them replied, I'm a cholo player. <laughs> well, how extraordinary. <laughs> Are you really? What a coincidence that is. What are the odds of that happening to me and you both in a little village like this? And that's when the stabbing started. <laughs> and then when I finished doing that, I tied my dress shoes together and tossed them over the telephone wire to mark my territory. <laughs> However, here's one you don't hear much nowadays. <laughs> I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> you other brothers can deny. You don't hear that one anymore, do you? <laughs> you don't hear those wonderful old school family tunes from when we all get together, we sit together like a family. Because I'm a family man, probably you are too. And I've got two kids and I'm proud to announce they're both here tonight. Shut up, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Always moaning about the oxygen level, those step kids. Their favourite thing is camping. Hands, hands up if you like camping. Exactly. What is the point of camping? Why would you deliberately make yourself homeless <laughs> and pay good money to do it? Why, why spend $70 at the beach when you can stay at the Travelodge for 39 if you book it five years before? 
Now, the worst thing about camping, you're just getting off to sleep, you hear this. <laughs> That's right, some idiot practicing a cello in the next tent. <laughs> Now, I understand we have a, a happy couple in the room. Is that correct? <laughs> Let me rephrase the question. Anyone here happy? <laughs> Lovely. Let's try rephrasing the question again. Anybody married? <laughs> well, this one is for you. And that is called The Wedding March. Now, if you play that tune backwards, you get this. <laughs> and it becomes The Funeral March, of course. And we all know that tune, but it sounds different depending on which church we're in. For example, if you're in the synagogue, it'll sound like this. If you're in the Church of Scientology, <laughs> I am Darth Vader. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. Funeral march in the Baptist Church. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down my burden <laughs> down by the riverside, down by the riverside. And finally, the funeral march in the church of the Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> hey, I'm on the toilet. <laughs> Still on that theme of weddings, this is uh, the first thing I ever wrote on this instrument. It's called Memories of My First Marriage. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> now, this is my ex-wife on a honeymoon doing a bungee jump. This is my ex-wife doing a bungee jump 30 years later. <laughs> I'm not bitter. Oh, no, she got the house, I got this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is a 1968 Pontiac Firebird. Here's a 2023 Tesla. Driving's not fun anymore, is it? If you, if you want me to perform some music, any type of music, a genre, I'll do it. You'd call something out, for example, jazz. Or... Hip-hop. Okay, hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hippity-hop. <laughs> um, okay, give me another one. Please. Country, Please. country. This is a country song I've written myself about driving. You take the R5 North to the 405, to the 110 East, to the 210 West, to the 710 South, to the 134, to the 47, to the 105. 215 to the 155, and now I'm on the 515. Where am I? Lake Mead, Chuck E. Cheese. Whenever someone gives me driving directions, all I ever hear is this. One of five, one ten, 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 Who 
can tell me what's wrong with it? It's Jimi Hendrix. Huh? Left-handed, probably more obvious he was black, but thank you for the suggestion anyway. <laughs> Loads of hair. Um, can you take the lights down, please, for an atmosphere? Perfect. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 